So today we have an interesting algebraic question. We have to find the value of x and y in the real plane that will satisfy this equation x to the power 4 plus 3 upon y square is equals to x square y square minus 6 upon xy and this thing is equals to y to the power 4 plus 3 upon x square. So let us see the solution. How can we solve for this? So first of all we can see that these three things are equals to each other so we can even compare two of them. So we'll start the solution by comparing this one with that one. So these two are like this way x to the power 4 plus 3 upon y square this is the first one and this thing is equals to y to the power 4 plus 3 upon x square. So now we'll do the cross multiplication this multiplied over there and that multiplied over there. So we will have x to the power 6 plus 3 x square and this thing is equals to y to the power 6 plus 3 y square. Now we'll adjust the terms so x to the power 6 minus y to the power 6 is equals to 3 y square minus 3 x square. Okay. Now look in the LHS that is x to the power 6 minus y to the power 6. So x to the power 6 minus y to the power 6 can also be written as x square the whole cube minus y square the whole cube. Okay. Now remember the identity that a cube minus b cube is equals to a minus b and this thing is multiplied with a square plus b square plus a b. So in this case we have the value of a as x square and the value of b as y square. So x to the power 6 minus y to the power 6 will turn out to be x square minus y square multiplied with x to the power 4 plus y to the power 4 plus x square y square. So here we have just factored out x to the power 6 into y to the power 6. So now let us replace this in the original equation. So x to the power 2 minus y to the power 2 multiplied with x to the power 4 plus y to the power 4 plus x square into y square and this thing is equal to 3y square minus 3x square. So now what I will do is take negative 3 common so inside the bracket it will remain x square minus y square. So now what we can observe is that x square minus y square is present on both the sides so we can easily cancel it out. But there is a case that if this thing is equal to 0 we cannot cancel out as 0 cannot be factored from both the sides. So first of all what we will do is assume that x square minus y square is not equal to 0. So x square minus y square is not equal to 0 so now we can factor it out so x square minus y square and x square minus y square got cancelled out. So we have x to the power 4 plus y to the power 4 plus x square y square and this thing is equal to negative 3 and this equation is absolutely wrong. Why? Because we can see that in the LHS this is a positive term because the power is even. This is also a positive term because the power is even and over here this is also a positive term because the powers are even. So in the LHS we can observe that all these three terms are positive so addition of three positive terms cannot be equal to negative so this equation is absolutely wrong. So if this equation is wrong, this assumption was wrong, this means that x square minus y square is equal to 0. Now I will add y square on both the sides so I will have x square is equal to y square I will take square root on both the sides. So I will have that x is equal to plus and minus y or else y is equal to plus or minus x. So these are the two values we have just obtained that x is equal to plus or minus y or else y is equal to plus or minus x. Now let us utilize this particular thing. So let us go back to the original equation. So as these three were equals to each other we have utilized this and this so as to get this relation between x and y. And this thing in the middle is still untouched so let us utilize it so what i will do is equate this one with this particular one you can even go with that one because they both will give the same results so now i have that x square into y square minus 6 upon xy and this thing is going to be equal to y to the power 4 plus 3 upon x square okay so now as per this thing we have two cases either x is equal to positive y or else x is equal to negative y so first of all let us put the value of x as equal to positive y so what we will have is that y to the power 4 minus 6 upon y square is equals to y to the power 4 plus 3 upon y square. All the x in this thing has been turned out to be positive y. So we have got this result that is y to the power 4 minus 6 upon y square is y to the power 4 plus 3 upon y square. Now y square and y square got cancelled out. So we have that y to the power 4 minus 6 is equals to y to the power 4 plus 3. And here we can see that y to the power 4, y to the power 4 got cancelled out. So negative 6 is equal to positive 3 and this is a contradiction. So x is equal to positive y will not give us any kind of solution. So x is not equal to y. So now let us go with x is equal to negative y. So now let us replace x with negative y in that equation. So y to the power 4 minus 6 upon negative y square is equal to y to the power 4 plus 3 upon y square y square and y square got cancelled out but here negative 1 is there so we have to multiply this thing over there. So y to the power 4 minus 6 is equal to negative y to the power 4 negative 3. 
Now adjusting the term, so 2 times y to the power 4 is equal to positive 3. So therefore y to the power 4 is equal to 3 upon 2. So this implies that value of y is going to be equal to plus or minus 4th root of 3 upon 2. So this is the value of y that is plus or minus 4th root of 3 upon 2. And we got this thing for x is equal to negative y. This was a contradiction. So x is equal to negative y give us the value of y. So now let us have the value of x. So from here we have two values of y. The first one is going to be positive 4th root of 3 upon 2. And the second one is negative 4th root of 3 upon 2. So for this values of y, the value of x are going to be equals to negative 4th root of 3 upon 2 and positive 4th root of 3 upon 2 as x is equals to negative y. So now let us write down the final answer. So the solution for x comma y are going to be equals to 4th root of 3 upon 2 comma negative 4th root of 3 upon 2 and negative 4th root of 3 upon 2 comma positive 4th root of 3 upon 2. So these are the pairs of solution for x comma y. You might be thinking that we have considered this particular case x is equals to plus or minus y but we have not considered y is equals to plus or minus x. So if we have compared this thing so what we will get y is equals to x for the first case and y is equals to negative x for the second case. So as we have seen that for x is equals to y the case is a contradiction case so y is equals to x will also be a contradiction and x is equals to negative y is same as y is equals to negative x it will also give the same pairs of solution like this we have just got. That is 4th root of 3 upon 2 comma negative 4th root of 3 upon 2 or else negative 4th root of 3 upon 2 positive 4th root of 3 upon 2. So these are the final pairs of solution for x and y which are from the real plane and will satisfy this particular equation. So this was my way to solve this particular question. If you have any other method other than this you can do comment below and if it's hard to comment you can email me or else you can send it to me on my instagram or discord the links are in the description.